Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. Also, I know it's been almost a week since Garrison Brown's tragic death. And I just wanted to address some misinformation and it's been flying around the internet. It's about Cody Brown's home and a specific creator shared with their followers some photos of Cody's home claiming that there were law enforcement officers that responded to a mental health call. They claimed that a neighbor of Cody's took the pictures of the family home, specifically detailing that there were police that flew through the neighborhood and Flagstaff Care Team Unit arrived on the scene. As I know, many of you are dying to know updates from the family as they navigate this horrible tragedy. But are some of us that concerned that we would snap pictures of them, sell them to the media, and take some sort of credit for showing the outside of Cody Brown's house with vehicles in it? You have to be a soulless person to think that this is okay and then make assumptions that someone in the home is suffering from mental illness. Is the family updates not enough? Waiting outside someone's home or requesting photos of someone who has just lost a loved one to get a reaction of someone's pain to me is just sickening. This so-called news has absolutely nothing to do with Garrison's death and making up stories that you don't have any substantial knowledge about is very classless and could get you in a lot of trouble. Yes, we all have our feelings and opinions about the entire situation. Some are even playing the blame game, this and that. However, out of respect for the family, an already grieving family at that, I would keep the false narratives in that vault. I feel like everyone at some point have had struggles with mental health, whether it's dealing with childhood trauma or a bad relationship or even a death. It could really mess you up big time mentally. Now, imagine it all being documented for a show or someone just taking pictures of your every move, waiting to post it online. This information has absolutely nothing to do with Garrison's death. And in my opinion, it's weird and it's tasteless reporting. I'm giving my opinion on it because I've been asked several times from multiple people in my direct messages asking me, have I found out any more details on the matter? Also, In Touch Magazine has confirmed with the police department that no calls were dispatched on that day to the Brown family and no incidents have occurred. Please tell me your thoughts below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss any updates. Bye for now.